Welcome to the PCK sensor panel video. Oh, that sounds cool. What's up guys, Sauce Tech here. Hope your day is going well. So today we'll be setting up a sensor panel display in my PC. This video is meant to help you out if you're setting up your own sensor panel. And if you're not setting up your own sensor panel right now, this video will show you how easy it is to set up this display into your PC. And you don't have to use this display only for a sensor panel. You can use this display to do other small tasks. Like for example, I used mine for OBS recording. I'll put the OBS doc on the screen and then put my videos folder right underneath that and then it helps me out when I'm trying to record something on my screen. Let's get started. So this right here is my first PC build. Uh, slow down baby. It was about $200. Link will be in the description for the full build. In order to set this sensor panel up, you will need a software, which is ADA64, and I'll show you a cheap way to get it later on in this video. The specs for the screen will be on the bottom right, and the main things you will need are the micro USB cable to power it up, and then for the display, you will need mini HDMI to HDMI. Don't get it confused with micro HDMI. You need mini HDMI. First we'll install the cable to the screen, then we'll install it to the PCB, and then we'll tape that metal part down so that the cable does not come apart. And then we tape it down so the cable does not come apart. It does come apart really easy. As I mentioned earlier, for the display, you will need a mini HDMI to HDMI. And then for the power, you will need a micro USB cable. For this one, I took one of the GPU slots out and then ran the cable through the back and in the bottom of the case. It worked really well. And then I put the rest of the cable underneath the PSU behind the front panel and also at the top. This is how the screen will be going inside. So I taped the screen onto the blast panel for better visibility. So onto the software, ADA64 is $60. I don't want to pay that $64 price, so I downloaded the free trial. And then after trying it out, I'm like, this app is really good. I want the full version. So I went to g2a.com and got it for $4. This video is not sponsored, by the way. So G2A, if you want to if you want to hit your boy up, that'd be great. But these are some examples of the different sensor panels you can download online. I had a bit of trouble with these because they would mess up the sensor panel, but I ended up going with Jay's Two Cents video on how to make your own sensor panel. So I ended up creating my own sensor panel. It ended up being a blue theme as you saw in the beginning of the video. This was me testing it out with orange and you can see the GPU utilization was 100% while I was playing Call of Duty. I made sure I took that video so you can see that the sensor panel actually works. And here I'm customizing it to see what I want mine to look like. I use Jay's Two Cents video, so I'll link it in the description. So if you need to customize yours, you can do that. And this is what I ended up making mine look like. It looks really nice, I love it. And I would definitely recommend buying this software for $4. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Comment below what you think about this sensor panel and uh, should I check out other sensor panels or other softwares for sensor panels? Let me know in the comments and uh, I'll see what I can do. See you on the next one. Bye.